Good day time, my fuzzyites, and welcome to a very special unboxing. <laughs> yeah, uh, unboxing, taste test, and whatnot. As I have gone out and I bought a Naruto Shippuden slash Baruto, the Naruto the Next Generation mystery snack pack. I got this at a store for. I am not sponsored. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form with this. Uh, it cost me $59.99 for this, so I figured I might as well show it off, see what's in it, and whatnot. With it being a mystery snack box, I don't know if every box will have the same thing, you just don't know what's inside, but after you open one, you know it all. Or if it's kind of just random for every single box, and there's certain things you have. So, on the front you can see, I think, what is it? Uh, donut type things, looks like there's some, or donuts or gummies, you have some maybe candy balls, strawberries, cookies, wafer-esque chocolate things, blueberries maybe right above, cookies, chips, so, yeah, was good, ooh, hello Taylor the North, ooh, yeah, and the box is very nice, um, you got Naruto from Shippuden, you have Baruto from the new series, Going down this way, you have the nine-tailed fox. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> the nine-tailed fox. On the side, just... Oh, that's also Naruto's mother and father. Milo comes to mind for the father, but I don't think that's right. Uh, it's been a while since I've played the series. I've played through... I'm more of a gamer when it comes to the Naruto series. Gaming-wise, I have played uh, all of Ultimate Ninja, which you can hear the soundtrack for in the background for a little bit of music, as well as all the Naruto Storm stuff. I played most of the games that have come out for it. I don't think some of the handheld games I felt I did not get, because I didn't really have handhelds growing up. Uh, and show-wise, I watched all of Naruto, and in Shippuden, I think we're... I'm at the part where Gara has been kidnapped by the Akatsuki and they someone is fighting Itachi and Kisame. I think it's uh, Sakura, but it's been a while since I watched the show. But game wise, I'm all caught up and I enjoy it. And I saw this, so I figured, hey, let's pick it up because I know Naruto. And on the side, you just have the same. You know, mystery box thing. Same with this side. And on woo, the back, we have Hinata and Naruto's daughter? Black question mark? Because I know Hinata and Naruto get together, but I am unsure of all their kids besides Baruto. I never really watched anything to do with Baruto. And the Ultimate Ninja stuff... Uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm thing I had at the time did not have the Bar Baruto DLC, so I know basically nothing about Baruto besides I think not Sasuke and Sakura got together and had a child, or so and Sakura Sasuke may have had a child with another person. Orochimaru is back with a child. I don't know, it's weird. But either way. Oh, and the back, I don't think I showed, just has some advertisements the due date and then just you know whatever for the show and whatnot. So, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Barcodes are always the it's not like this is a if they put it in they're gonna steal like points from me or something. Mm. This is how it's how you barcodes are how you purchase stuff. Oh. Usually. Um otherwise if, if there's anything's in the box that has like hey go to this website and put this code in that stuff I won't show. Or will I? And we'll see about that. <laughs> so like I said, this cost me $59.99, so let's see if it's all worth it. The other one. Inside, more advertising. Ooh. So, oh wow. Yeah, this is... That's a lot. This is full. A lot of... Oh yeah, the Naruto suppression mark, I believe. You want a free code? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's fully jam-packed. A lot of stuff. A lot of it is 
I believe is Japanese. I don't speak yeah. Japanese. I don't have a translator. So <laughs> this episode might be quicker than I thought. <laughs> but yeah, it is very full of stuff. So let's start here. I <laughs> won't be able to tell what it is. No. It looks like maybe some sort of cookie. You don't have any allergies, right? No. Okay, neither do I. I'm just picky. <laughs> yeah, so this looks like... It reminds me of animal crackers. But, like, instead of the cracker actually being it of the animal, like, it's just like an imprint of characters. It's probably like a cookie or something. This, this may be interesting because I can't read any of them. <laughs> Matt Sun Edge oh. since 1983. Can help t I can help tell you what they are. Okay. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cookies. Again, it reminds me of animal crackers, but instead of like the crackers actually being of animals, they just imprint the characters on it. And it may even be um, from a TV show over in Japan. Either that or it's just mascots, because Japan likes mascots. No matter what it is, they have crazy mascots and it's really adorable. I would love to go to Japan sometime. Yeah. You'll uh, have to be my translator and not get this. Okay. Like, well, this word says to consuming. To. That one is this product. <laughs> there is English on it. Maybe the it might say on the back one of this even too. Uh wheat crackers. So they're they're wheat oh. crackers. Uh oh, ingredients. I thought they were cooking. Yeah. So did I. Well, they might call it wheat crackers, but in Japan it's cookies. Because I know, I don't know. Um, other places have different words for it. Like Russia, for instance, alcohol was only like a certain percentage, so you could get whatever low alcohol levels at like grocery stores and whatnot there. They didn't consider it alcohol because it was if it wasn't above a certain point. Whereas here, any alcohol is like alcohol to yeah. them. Like a couple percentage was, was a soft drink. <laughs> so different places have different ways of looking at things, doing things, and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so it's so a wheat cracker, Asian food, Asia food, wheat flour, caramel. All right. Man, I don't want to open this because it's really cute. Yeah, but how are we going to get to the snacks? <laughs> I know, it's the ultimate dilemma, isn't it? So opening it up has its own nice bag. So like it's probably this is probably a kids-ish snack. Yeah, they're, they're like animal crackers. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, this reminds me of a. Um, <laughs> did we get the same? We got the same. One. <laughs> the same one. Yay! But there's, I don't know if anyone can see, a giraffe there. It smells good. There's a rabbit. Right, so, clink. Yeah. This reminds me of a um, cook we have here in Canada. It's, it's $59.99 Canadian dollars. Um, yeah, this reminds me a lot of, it is animal crackers. This is the taste of animal crackers. Yeah. Like, straight up. But then you have, like, a bunny. I don't know why I would want to dip in, like, chocolate. They're, no, like, um... There is a lot. Know. There is drinks in here as well. Like, ooh, two separate chip bags. Oh, there's... Oh, there's two? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe different flavors. So that's the thing about going into this, is that this could be spicy, and I just won't know until I try to go, oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. There is an art. Anyways, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna look through all of it. But yeah, overall. That was pretty good. Really good? It's it's animal crackers. If you like animal crackers, it's cute design, cute characters, and whatnot. Yeah. I like the flavor of it. It's really nice. Mm. Animal crackers have a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Of course, like something like this, it, because it's animal crackers, you could just get it from animal crackers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like the cutesy design and whatnot, like, overall, I would recommend trying this. 
Like, but again, it's, it's animal crackers. If you know animal crackers, have tried animal crackers, you've tried this. But yeah, it's adorable. No, the chippy things might be the, um, the same thing, actually. It doesn't seem like different design at all. Yeah. Well, we each get our own. Ooh. Wheat cracker. So now, we have two of these. Are there any differences? No. No, it looks the same. that they're two of the same snacks. Again, I don't speak Japanese I, or uh, whatever language this is. I apologize. I'm not cultured enough to know. Or we crack it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, may contain self shellfish. Dairy, sweet potato starch. Uh, hello, Dina. Oh, and a bunch of times. Yeah. Starch, palm oil, potatoes. Yeah, this... It says wheat cracker snack. But maybe that's what they call... Like I said before, maybe that's what they call chips there. It looks like uh, tempura stuff. It might be. I also should say, I'm not very cultured in a lot of the snacks from Japan. I want to try a lot of the stuff, but... You know, being where I am, I have not been able to get stuff. So this is really nice to be able to get to. That's definitely chip. Anyways, hi Salem, you're blocking the view. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking for us to try and just smelling them. <laughs> yeah, that smells like potato chips. Oh, I'm gonna need my drink. Ow, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Kind of potato chips? You wanna sniff? Yeah. It's similar to potato chips, it smells like. Mm. Oh, you opened that one too? What, was I not supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting design. It reminds me of, like, uh. What is it? Salem. Here's no, not Salem. <laughs> Um, what is this? Chester Cheetah is a part of it. Um, those sure. things are called Cheat. No, Chester Cheetah is the mascot of them. Yeah, I don't know. Cheesy, no, cheese puffs, something like that. But yeah, it looks like that cheddar, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I like the design. It looks like a bunch of chips put together. So clink. Cheetos, that's it. It looks like Cheetos in design, but crazier Cheetos. I know this flavor. I never had this flavor. Hickory sticks? No, I but think yeah. hickory sticks are stronger. It's a specific chip I've had before. Maybe it could be sort of similar, but not, not fully. No, this is like dead ringer for that flavor. Yeah. I'm, gonna, good. I'm gonna try yours just to make sure they are <laughs> make the sure same, if you, same. Want, if you want to try them on. I know, it's fine. I know it's the same. Same? Yeah. Oh, what is it? What is this flavor? I actually like this. And I'm a picky eater. It's like... Uh, I've had this before. I've tried it before. It's a type of chip. It's it's a type of chip I've had before. It could be like a different brand of chip that's like exactly almost similar. Yeah. But it, it's, it's not. It definitely. It, it, this is just like the uh, animal cracker thing. They taste just like something I've had. It's a chip I have had. I can't remember the name. I don't get it often. I haven't had it for a long time, but the flavor takes me right back to it. The flavor's good. Oh yeah, it's a great flavor. And now we have crumpled egg potato chips. Is that what you're doing? 
So, like I said, oh, I didn't say it during this, but during a stream recently, I said uh, 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 they should have at least two or three actually Naruto-inspired stuff, or licensed stuff. And there's at least two things in here that are like that. So, potato... So yeah, these are chips with egg flavor. So yeah, what you got? Naruto... Sasuke, Sakura, uh, Kakashi Sensei, Choji. The whole thing is Choji approved. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these egg, egg, crumpled egg flavor. Do you need help? I'm not Choji, I'm not strong enough for this. I'm trying, but I also don't want it to fly all over the room. Slowly going. Is it that tough? It was. It was really sealed. That's a nod. No. I don't know why it's bringing me to Hickory Sticks. Sort of. Let me smell again. Maybe it is Hickory Sticks. It brings me to smell like of Hickory Sticks. I like Hickory Sticks. Good. Yeah. Straight up potato chips. Ask. But. Crump. Crampled egg? Crampled egg? Scrambled. Oh, I didn't see the S. <laughs> so it, it might taste like scrambled egg, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, that's sweet too. That's really sweet. Uh, and it's a flavor I do not know fully. It feels like a lot like hickory sticks to me, but still slightly different. Hickory sticks are stronger. Overall, everything's been very delightful in this in this yeah. thing. Like I was worried it was gonna taste like eggs. Like I like eggs, but you know. I was worried because I'm not eating. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't <laughs> like a lot of things. So. Overall, for everything, I say, yeah, it's really good at the moment. Now, let's get... Oh, we got, oh, we got two drinks. Mm -hmm. We got two drinks here. Yeah, Itachi. Well, that one, yeah. We have Itachi, uh, Ramun, Ramuni, a uh, carbonated soft drink, raspberry flavored with a Itachi on it. Yeah, it's Itachi. And then, so that's Naruto, and then we have a Baruto with pineapple. I don't know if I like pineapple. How to open, peel the seal, lift off the green cap, uh, and push the down the center and release the opener. <laughs> don't open it yet. Or oh, even more. Soft. More deliciousness. Chill before drinking. Oh. <laughs> Do not swallow the opener. Please discard the opener after opening the bottle. <laughs> Do not allow small children to open the bottle. I I'm not a child. <laughs> uh, adults should open the bottle for small children. Parents who really need advice for small children. Do not try to remove the marble from the bottle. Oh, this is one of those marble things. Obviously, it would be better when it's cold. Do you want to put it in and then add? Ah. We can put it in the we fridge can... for a while, work snack on the others, and then come back to we it. We can try it and then put it in the fridge after a sip. Because I don't think it would hurt us, right? No, it's just better chilled. Yeah. With a little more chaos. Ah, do not freeze or store in direct sunlight. Such as cars or the temperature. Yeah. Do not consume if top marble is broken, dropped, or missing. So I've heard of this in Japan. There's like a marble thing that comes down into like the neck of the bottle. I have no idea what it's for or what it does besides just aesthetics. Okay, so peel off the seal. I'm confused. <laughs> 
Okay, so peel off the seal. I think this is a cap for after you take off the top thing. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, you do it first before push. I just feel like I will. So then it. push down the center of the opener. We'll get this. Hold on. Bear with me. I'm afraid. Take off the green cap. There's no green cap. It said green or clear and Push cap? down. It says green. It's not green. And push down the center. Missing something? Place the opener on the top. Press down firmly with your palm. That's the marble, I think. The marble is right in the center. Okay, so peel off the seal, lift off the green cap, which I think is this thing, push down the center to release the opener. simple bottles. <laughs> this is not simple. Normally you have like a twist stop or something. Or a bottle cap opener. Alright. Take the lid. Oh. So. Okay, so you dislodge this. Okay. This is what it meant. So yeah, it was in like this and we just take it out okay and now i lose it all right so now so now so palm on it i think 
firmly. Hey. Oh. Might need, I might need help. <laughs> Unfortunately, you weren't really able to see that, but the marble dropped. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> it's so cool. So open the bottle by dislodging the stopper. Keep pressing for five seconds. Remove the green top of the bottle and this guard. So we just drank it with the marble? Yeah. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> for me. Salem. Okay, so push the seal off. Lift the green cap. Yep. Push down the center to release the opener. Yep. Place the opener onto the. Go get it. Opener onto the palm. You will open the bottle by dislodging the stopper, the marble. Keep pressing for five seconds. Remove the green topper and discard. I don't know how to hold it. It's also like, do I? I think you hold it at the bottom. I don't know. Is it meant like this? I don't know why I like rolling the marble back for Yeah, Can definitely you get me a napkin. Napkin? Yeah. So quickly. Definitely better if it was. I just built a bit on my hands <laughs> when I drink it that way. All right. What? Is this the way you're supposed to drink it? I'm just holding it from the bottom. I'm not I apologize if uh, <laughs> we're drinking it terribly wrong. We don't mean to offend anyone. We're just not cultured in that way. Yeah, it would be better if I was colder. Wait, does yours fall down? No, it's at the top. Oh, <laughs> it got stuck there? Oh, okay, sick. Off you go, sir. I don't know why this plate. I'm wondering if it, if it was better colder than it would taste the flavor more. Yeah. My thing is stuck. Want <laughs> sure. You want to drum Yeah. See, I think here in Canada we have a lot more artificial flavors to it. So yeah. those might be like the really real. I don't like pineapple. Fla Sorry about that. Flavors of these. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge quick. Yeah. yeah. So it seems. They don't have caps either, so. So it seems what happens is like this fills, you can fill this up with the juice. And if you take a drink, the marble will stop any more liquid from flowing into your mouth. So you can take monitored sips, which is neat. Cool little thing. I'll be right back in a few seconds. Yeah, overall for those drinks, uh, I like the bottles. They look cool. The marble thing's really neat. The taste isn't my favorite. I'll probably drink I it, but... I didn't really taste much, but yeah, we have a lot stronger. What do you want to try next? Um, what's that? You got them back as Candies? Oh, it's just a big bag. You want to do the, uh, Barto dis uh, Biscuits? So this is four actually themed Naruto stuff so far. So ingredients, wheat flour, store in cool, dry place. Yeah, we know all this. Four per four servings. Right. But we got Baruto. I have no idea. I think that's Sakura and um, Sasuke's daughter in the middle. And I 
don't know who the kid at the end is. Again, I don't really know Baruto all that much. Yeah, these smell a lot like the animal cracker stuff. Little smiley face we're gonna devour. What does yours look like? Are these all the same? They might all be the same. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Sink. Yeah. Like the animal crackers. Hey, bug. Oh yeah, there are different heads. Again, we got two of the same characters. <laughs> mm, I think this is Baruto. No idea about the other guy. Again, I don't, I don't know the Baruto series all that much. So, oh. Yeah. Our 20th anniversary. Yeah. I really miss animal crackers now because it tastes so good. Oh, yeah. You just smell good. I know. It's been a while. <laughs> Um, we are going to do salt lemon Kit Kats. I don't know if I'll like this. Maybe I'll split one. Just take a small... Split one. Alright, I see how it is. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I'll like this one. So, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Looks like they have a thing you can draw on the back. I don't know if Kit Kats do this naturally or if this is just a wherever this is from exclusive. Kind of whitest yellow with the Kit Kat symbol on it. Very nice. Yeah. Sorry, no. Mmm. Yep, yeah, lemon. Lemony. But it doesn't go as far overpowering as lemon usually does. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. Overall. For salt lemon? I like it. I'd get this again. Tastes like a good Kit Kat. And we have two of them. For some reason. Huh. Some things we get two, some things we get one. Yeah, a lot of things we get friendly. one. Yeah. But we also have another Kit Kat here. And it might be the Wait. same, just different Salt lemon. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Salt lemon again, just a yellow wrapper instead of the blue. I won't try it because I'm sure it's the same. What's next? Four pack. There's more than four in here. Uh, gummies. Looks like pomegranate? Or is that plums? Um. Grape. It's grape. Not pomegranates or <laughs> plums. No, just right here. They look side by side, and I think plums and whatnot. Well, it's all purple, right? I agree with me, agree, yes, yes, I know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh, yep, totally. Hmm. Alright. Um. Neat thing. Apparently, 
These must be sold just one at a time then. Because otherwise you just have this infor this stuff information on the uh, thing. Which is weird. Maybe Japan. I assume it's Japan, but wherever this is from does that, where they have like. Yeah, so there's a lot of Asian countries out there. Yeah. Ooh, it smells strong. Gummy. Smells strongly of grape. Overall. Mm -hmm. I like it. There it is. There's the grape flavor. Yep. Overall, it's, it's gummies and it's grape. It's exactly what you get. And very nice. It's nice. It's very strong. Sounds like a premium wasaki premium rolled wafer. This must come in like a pack of a few because there's no actual yeah, probably. stuff on it. Open this goodness up and see what's inside. Look at your casual, like, um, straw wafer things. Get the part, so be careful. Do you have? Do you need more? Yeah, yeah I'll vacuum yeah. again. I just vacuumed. Bye. -bye. Right. So I'm just gonna see what's here because it, it, it usually crumbles, which I don't know really like. So, clink. Powering chocolate. I don't like how it crumples right away. I don't really like it too much. You're not. I can't really reach. Overall, an all right thing. You'll have to. Sorry. It really broke apart. Yeah, I don't like that. I would not give these to kids. I don't really like that one. Yeah. It's probably the one thing in this pack where I'd take it if it was there, but I'd probably take anything else. So far, my favorite from all this has been the uh, animal cracker stuff. It's just so cute and cuddly. I like the chips. Which one? Um, the ones that... Uh, the scrambled yeah. egg one? Those are good. That one I really like. There's something about the animal cracker animal crappers. The animal cracker <laughs> style chips that really take me back yeah. and whatnot to a simpler time. So let's try and succeed in whatever this may be. Ah, Unknown what it is, but it tells me it is another Ramu thing? Powder candy, uh, Maruta Nasakshui. I probably said that wrong. Okay, so this must. This looks like it's a candy parody plate thing of the drink stuff. Ah. Is this supposed to be a face? Did I not notice it's? It's like those bottles had was a face. <laughs> Like no, I don't think so. Yeah, so this looks like it's just... I don't really get any smell from that. Yeah, I can't really. Yeah. Neat container. 
referencing those Reman Noon bottles, and it's like a little capsule thing. Pure sugar. Reminds me of rockets here in Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that reminds me of just rockets that you get here in Canada, which are just. Yeah, it just falls apart instantly. It's basically just sugar condensed into a shape. And as soon as you start eating and bringing it apart, it just dissolves instantly. What's next? Overall, not bad. I enjoy rockets. Rockets are good. You want to save the alligator? Yeah. Well, do you want the, I assume, dragon? The other pokey sticks? Or... Cider. Some type of jelly, gelatin thing. Get out of here, Phil! You want to try the... Corky? Which I assume is a dragon down there. Dragon or lion. But sometimes... They look the same in certain circles. They really want, don't want you eating these. There we go. <laughs> They're just kind of sticky. As in the look, not the texture. It's not. It's not sticky. It looks like one of those chocolate-covered uh, uh, pretzel things. Not really strong in flavor. No, I'm also expecting it to taste like chocolate, and it doesn't. It tastes like something else. this now ranked for just it's not bad but I I wouldn't take it uh, yeah. like, it that again. and these wafer things just this one's more of like if I if it's there yeah I'll have it whereas these things I might just skip on completely because there's like a flavor you feel coming and then it just doesn't get there and it just goes I off on its own it yeah that's the other thing <laughs> Um, well, let's get a different pokey style thing in it. This one looks like it is actually chocolate. No, no. Wheat flour and all, everything has wheat flour in it. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had pokies, but these remember remind me of them where it's just wafer thing with chocolate on it. But I hear it's really good. I'm 
Yeah. How does the chocolate out really? There's like a weird aftertaste for this one as well. Like the the thing, the other thing would be fine. She's the chocolate out. There's a weird aftertaste. I don't think these are. I know chocolate's different in other countries, but. Yeah, maybe that's it. Because I know ours is like a lot of milk and chocolate. I think the US is not exactly chocolate or something different. Yeah. Oh, there's an aftertaste um, to it that I I really just been on it. Don't like all that much. That's a shame. Three things that I could just do without. But when we have what one, two, We're three, also four, used to five, being five, six, seven, all sweet and milk chocolate. Eight, nine, nine other things that are are pretty decent in this pack. Yeah. So it, it might, it might just be that. Looks like we have another. Summer thing with the cool glass that's sentient. Don't think about it. This is taffy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is so happy. I'm very happy. I like that. Yeah, oh, I like happy. The majority of the stuff you can just get stuff. It reminds me of the texture of gum. Yeah? Mm. For me, it's, it's straight up taffy. Uh, some taffy thing. Yeah, but again, it, a lot of the stuff I can get from around here, like grape gummies. We have grape gummies around here in Canada. These egg chips. I, like I don't the think flavor. I've ever had them. I like the flavor of them. They remind me of something. I can't put my finger on, but. No, no, these, uh, me of hickory, but not no, these ones did, no. It's good. These did. These remind me of something in, here in Canada that I can't put my finger on. But yeah, a lot of this stuff just is stuff we could get here. Which is... It's also nice seeing other... Look at the Kit Kats. Countries, like yeah. versions oh, I, and the their pack own stuff. The packaging is amazing. I love the packaging on a lot of these. I'll probably keep them. Uh, but we just have one last thing to try, which looks like it's a dragon or a crocodile who a crocodile. is king. Yeah, nothing much on the back. But just gummies again. This one looks like it's two flavors, grape and apple. They like to keep them sealed from the children. It keeps, it keeps them fresh, and nobody can steal them that easily. Yeah, especially going overseas. You got a yellow one or a red one? Oh, that's like definitely apple. There's apple and then grape. Smell like it. Good smelling. I am going to try the grape one. Okay. It's not overly strong like the other. It's more muted than the other one. I it's like nice. I like the good strong flavor. I, I like sometimes not super strong though. And then the apple.
Yeah, it's, it's like there, but barely. They are fairly small, though. Yeah. That's Not bad. bad. If you're having a little snack thing, maybe, but there are other gummies that I prefer. And that is it. That is, it. that is all for the box. So overall, how many things do you get? You get one, two, three, four, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen, eighteen, thank you. Seventeen or eighteen, seven, uh, about eighteen different snack things in it. I don't know the price of all this. There was some good stuff in it, and the thing is, unless like this chip bag, if you like Naruto and want the chip bag, unless you're gonna keep eating it, aren't you? <laughs> unless that, the bottles and whatnot, you can't get outside of this box. Unfortunately, this box is rather. Meh. Like I said, what, it cost me $59.99 Canadian? And while everything, most of the stuff was really good and I would recommend, like, three, two things I would just never get again. One thing I would only get if it was there, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And even these gummies are rather meh. Alright, like. So yeah, those chips are really unique. I don't think I've tasted anything really like it. They remind me of Hector Stick from Nostrum. Maybe that's it. <laughs> but I like this yeah. one more than Hector. But overall, for me, I pers Again, I don't know if. I'm pretty sure a lot of these snacks, anyways, you can get from Japan directly or wherever it is. And considering. We should probably figure that out. Yeah, that's fine. Japan, I apologize if it's not Japan. I assume it's Japan because I think Naruto was made in Japan. Yeah, I think. But it could also be taken from I'm a lot of sure. different places. But like, a lot of the stuff you can just get here in Canada. Like, these remind me of rockets, so I could just get rockets. Well, a lot of similar flavor stuff. Yeah. Gummies. Chips that are good, but I know I've felt the flavor before. Those chips that Choji approves of. I don't recall. Those, those are probably hickory sticks. sticks. It's been a long while since I had hickory sticks, so maybe it is that. Maybe we'll get hickory sticks so you can but taste it. <laughs> overall, would I get this box again? Probably not. No. I think this stuff altogether. Like, if you want to just have an assortment of stuff to try from Japan for the snacks and whatnot, like, the only real thing that doesn't really taste like anything I know of. Were the these? I don't think we have the lemon. The lemon yeah. Kit Kats, the these things, and this. Well, this I've tasted, but these and these I have never really tasted, and they're not that great. Maybe they're maybe it's just because here in Canada, when they have chocolate and whatnot, we uh, mix different stuff into it. And so it's not really a flavor either I'm accustomed to, or it's a flavor that I just don't like. A lot of but, butter is just like milk chocolate. Yeah. But overall, if you want to just get a taste of wherever it's from and have different snacks from a different country, again, even then, only three things here I have never actually tasted here in Canada. Which is a shame, but... The, um, the drinks I wish was a little stronger. The drinks were nice. They're, they're neat. They're neat. Overall, the drinks, I've never seen anything like that. I like that how the they're works. worth it. I just and, wish the flavor was like more there. Yeah, and this box is really cute. I'll probably keep this. So, is it worth the $59.99 for aesthetic-wise? Absolutely. I love this chip bag being Choji approved. That is really cute. Being scrambled egg flavor and whatnot tasted really good. Those bottles were really neat. I'd, I'll probably wash them out and keep them as souvenirs things. Mm -hmm. And like, I love these animal cracker stuff. They taste really good and look really neat. Is it worth it from an aesthetics point of view? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd probably pay like $5 just for the box itself, but I'm also a crazy collector. But I, well, I, I probably just did one of this. But food-wise, is it worth it? 
I'd say no. A majority of the stuff either I've had before and can just substitute for something else Canadian or American or whatever. Something around me. Where, um... And like I said, the two things that I could not pinpoint, I have never tasted the flavor really before, were my style. And the Kit Kat and the chip eggs, the... Scrambled... You're just gonna eat them all right now, aren't you? <laughs> It's the, good. The scrambled egg chips, which are really good, never... I, they, they might be hickory, but muted down. It's not the thing with hickory, though, is they're really good. I like really hickory, good. but... They're way too much after a while. Yeah. So these would be a good alternative. Because I also get insanely a heartburn in that, and it doesn't help. Yeah. And the... Um, they're so good. The Kit Kats I really enjoyed as well. They have a nice flavor to it. I like the lemon salt flavor. I don't but, know like that. Yeah. Well, that's where we're different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like I said, aesthetic wise, it's really nice, well worth it, but if you're just going for snack wise, like I said, most of the stuff you can just alternate with something else Canadian, and uh, yeah. And again, this is a mystery box, so maybe there are other boxes out there with different stuff that we didn't get. So I don't know, again, if it's mystery in the fact that it always has the same stuff, but you don't know what's, what all the same stuff is until you try it, or if um, it is all unique every single time, which I hope it is unique every single time. Maybe later on we'll try another one to get a redo and see what goes on. But like I said, worth it if you want like the aesthetics of the box, the drinks, and some of the other bags. If I could just order the chips, like just a big box of them, I would definitely yeah. those. Like we found some good snacks that we like now, and I want more animal crackers. I like how the bag's a lot stronger than this. Yeah. Well, it's going international, right? So it has to be stronger to keep together. But anyways, I'm going to end this here. Overall, I would say if you want it for just the aesthetic and looking at some neat snack bags you can't really get. It'd probably be worth it. Like I said, I'd probably I really enjoy this box, so it's worth it for me for that and some of the other stuff in the bottles. But food-wise, you might just want to look at certain stuff and buy them individually. But again, I I don't know. Like these gummies could cost like ten bucks from Japan. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I've said my piece. Uh, yeah. Go Naruto, Shippuden, and whatnot. Woo. <laughs> so, this has been good, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, not stop streaming.